If you're gonna keep escorting me around, we can go up to the eighth floor. That's where I'm going next. And I'm gonna do an open records request so I can get your first and last name. You got it? <laughs> yeah, you can. We're going up to the eighth floor. We're gonna go do an open records request to get your name. Okay. Yeah, from the last time. Remember when you yeah. grabbed me? Yeah, I don't have a problem. I think I will grab you again. I got my friend, so. You got your friend? What's your friend? What's that mean? You're grabbing onto your belt? Or you could just give me your name. Avoid the trouble. You can take more pictures as you want. That's right. You realize there's freedom of the press, didn't you? Yeah. Okay, good. That's that's a lesson learned. I'm happy on that. Wrong way. I always get confused on which way it is. So here's the city office building. Let's see if anyone want to answer. Oh, beautiful. They finally opened up the doors again. Excellent. Okay. Nobody's present and accounted for. I guess deputy yeah, missing. Nobody's here. Mm, doubtful. I see a shadow moving over there. Hi, Miss Hickel. Hi, how are you? Well, um, so I'd like to perform an open records request at this time, and I'd like to have you provide me this gentleman's name and the other Securitas' person's name on the first floor, the one with the ponytail, um, because I was a victim of being grabbed by them while I was filming about two weeks ago, mm -hmm. and so I'd like both their names. I don't know their names at this time. Uh, he's new. Okay. But I'm happy to help get that for you. Okay. That's Great. Right. Let's do that. Okay. You want to write down your name and we can... He knows me and that he's funded for my boss. Well, I'd just like to have your first and last name and the first and last name of the other Securitas personnel. Yeah. The one with the ponytail that's on the first floor. Yeah, you call, you call my supervisor and then he will provide you the details. See, as you are the municipal manager, you direct Securitas in this building because the mayor's in charge of buildings. Ms. Domboski, absent. Mm -hmm. um, Mr. Mayor, I'm not sure if he's here or not. So as you would be third in command, I would ask that you please assist me with this. Okay, let, let's go. I'll write, the, I'll write the phone number and everything for you. I would rather just have you write down your name. No. It's very simple. Yeah, I'll go. Let's go. Let's go downstairs. I'll write my my boss phone number and the details that he wants, and I give it to you. As simple as I that. I just want your first and your last name. Everyone in city the hall. The information that you want. That's why I say let's go, and then I'll write my boss phone number, and then all the details that you want. Then right. I'll put it on paper and give it to you. I think you want information, isn't it? I want information from you, and it's very simple. Yeah. Um, let's go. Let's go, and I'll give it to you. As a security personnel, part of your protocols is that you wear a name badge for Securitas, yeah. and you're not wearing one. Mm -hmm. So typically I would be able to identify you based on your name badge, mm -hmm. but you're not wearing one. Yeah. So let's go and then I'll give you the details. See, because here's the, here's the issue, Ms. Hickel, is that when someone is exercising a constitutional right, such as filming a government building, a public building, right, during normal operating hours, and they're grabbed by someone wearing a gun, mm -hmm. that's deprivation of rights under color of law. It's actually a federal crime. So. Um, and, and when two or more people do it, it's conspiracy against rights. So what I'm asking is just simply first and last name. That's what I'd like. And it's an open records request. It's very simple. We don't need to have a big drawn out conversation about it. Name? Let's go and I'll provide it. And another thing that we should address is every time I come to City Hall, I don't need an escort, okay? I'm a citizen, I'm a lawful man, and I'm able to walk through a government building freely. He can do whatever he wants, but it's clear that he's following, right? I'm not following you, I'm, doing, I'm also doing my job. I'm not following you. Okay. Well, when, when I said I was going up to the eighth floor next, if- You, it, told, you told me right. that I went to the eighth floor, so if I want to go with you, that is what you said. Right, I said, if you're gonna continue to follow me, mm -hmm. that's where I'll be. So from what you said, that 
I also, I'm also, I'm, I'm doing my job. So he said, oh, you are going to eight floors. So if okay. I'll go with you. And I came with you. Okay. So are you going to release to me your name? Or are you going to continue to be an unknown? Let's go ahead. Should I put defendant, um, no name? And have every other person in this room be contributing to that? Because I would not like that. I would rather just have his name, the other uh, associate's name downstairs, so I can move along my merry way. Now, can I ask you a question? What was the purpose of coming up to the eighth floor today? Just to come videotape? Was that it? No, I was actually going to the clerk's office. Okay. See, I got this. It's a nice thing called a recall application. So this is one of our other remaining ways to deal with problematic elected officials is a recall. So I got that, and he follows me up there. He's got no business in the clerk's office. So that's what brought it to the forefront of my mind. I forgive and forget, right? But when it brings it to the forefront of my mind again by him following me and cornering me, that's why. You feel cornered? Yeah. Okay. He had no business in the clerk's office. I mean, he was there security. to strictly to follow me. Now he's security for the Right. Whole he was there to isolate me. Okay. Specifically and particularly. Well, I'm sorry that you okay. isolated. Maybe so. another records request we should do is is there a security protocol? that has been issued to Securitas to follow me or any other specific individuals when they enter the building. I'm monitoring the building, so I have the right yeah. to patrol all floor in the building at any time, at any given time, so. No, I'm just asking I'm if not, there's a directive that's I'm not, been given. I'm, yeah, no, I'm not can, following you. I, I, came, I came and met you at the what, at the clerk's office, so I'm not following you. Well, no, the I'm first not, time we met was at the election center yeah, the on election elections center, day. Yeah, the election center, the election was not allowed to do what, to be filmed. So I told you that the election is not allowed. If okay. you want to do that, just get a permit and okay. then you can do. Who issues permits? Who issues permits to film? The municipal, the municipal manager. manager's office. No, there is no, there's no needed permits for First Amendment protected activity. Let's get that clear. Well, I think in an election with proprietary information, there is. But the fact but is, as far I. As like here and up on the but floor, one of the things is in this scenario, I had not yet entered the election center. I you, was actually I on the first I floor. You were going to, to enter, now. and I. And, and, I, and you I, grab and, me and by I, my arm. I grab you. I prevent you from entering. You grab me by my you arm. Have, you have your own videos, and you the grab videos me. shows the videos can okay. show that yes, so I did not now. grab you. I guess what you I'm have your own at videos at your YouTube. You have... My concern is this is not the first Securitas personnel okay. that has done this, okay. right? And uh, I don't know what's going on with their training on the ground floor, but because they're hired by the city and you pay for them, you're responsible for managing them. Absolutely. And it all flows back up through the municipal manager's office to the mayor at the end of the day, mm -hmm. right? Um, what when, I can do is I can pull the contract for Securitas, so you can read that. That's public record. Okay. Um, that way you can go through Well, I was it. more looking for any extra communications that went on that said, you know, when so-and-so is in City Hall, Niall Williams, follow him. I can assure you. Because it's that. not the first time. I've had 10 documented times. No, I can assure you, security comes up here every single time someone enters this building to come to the 8th floor. Every single time. Old lady, young kid, always. Security comes up. Well, that's that's a problem. I mean, that's a that's a very big problem. Is, I wouldn't say it is a problem. I'd say it's a protective of our staff. And here's know? the other thing: like when I come up to just ask a simple question of Miss Hickle, now there's five people around me for something that really Miss Hickle should have been the one to deal with. Mm -hmm. You know, truthfully, he, he or just, or one person. I, just, well, I think we I walked out of my office. He walked in. I mean, I, yeah, I don't think it was an issue with that. Out. We were just all here, and then you and uh, you are interrupting our workflow. We're trying to work. Yeah, you like to say that, but I came up here it's to perform like to official business. What we're doing. I came up here to perform official business. If you'd like to have a more private meeting, I'd be happy to go into so the now, office. So what's the official business for the eighth floor? I know you can't official the business office. name. That's what I okay. want. Okay, and I'm happy to go down and get a supervisor name for you so you can ask about our staff. To be truthful, I don't even know your name. He's new here. He just came on board. Again, that's sad. I understand that. He, you deal with these folks every day yes, and you here. don't even know their first yes. name? I've met him one single time okay. before this. Okay, my name is Niall. Name. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Yes. There are people in this building that I don't know their name now, and I'm sorry that I'm not a better person at City Hall. You know, we hunker down. We're trying to get city work done. I can't know everyone's name in here, and I'm sorry for that. I'm happy to see that the office doors are back open. That's one positive thing, so I'd like to, you know, reflect that for the record. The office doors being physically open is paramount. we got to be able to redress our government. 
So I'll follow you down. Hopefully we can get that information. All right, okay, everybody. thank you. I'm happy to take the elevator. See, we did learn one thing though. We have freedom of the press. Okay. We did learn one thing there. So that's good. It's a public building. It's a public building. Okay. Yep, so, and, and this is the other individual too that was here that day. Is it Hortfor? Hortor. 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 Two T's. 907. Okay. And so we see the differential right here, right? Um, one employee is wearing a name badge, the other is not. And there's a sign right by the elevator that says we're both supposed to. So thank you for wearing your name badge today. Mm -hmm. Can we just call them right from the desk right now? There you go. Okay. Right now, anything else for me I'm going back to work? Would have preferred you just uh, got me the information I wanted because now I'm going to have to stand here. Bruce, um, I'm down at City Hall here. Um, I'm trying to get the name of the two employees that are working today due to an incident I had about two weeks ago, um, about two weeks, two days prior to the election. So it would have been the third or the fourth of April. Um, both Corey, who's wearing his name tag today, and the other gentleman who's not, he's about six foot four, usually wears a hat. Today he's wearing a white Securitas shirt. You know, and I just asked for an open records request of his name because when I was filming on the first floor that day, I went uh, into the lobby and then I went down the right towards uh, room 150 on the first floor, at which point he cut me off and grabbed my arm and pushed me into the corner and, and wouldn't allow me to go into the election center. And, and so and, and also uh, Corey was involved in that as well um, by cornering me in the hallway. She, they were standing right at the, the entryway to the hallway at the main corridor there on the first floor. And so I just like this other individual's name for the record. Part of the municipal policy, I mean, it's clearly displayed on the first floor here, um, right by the elevator, is that everybody has to wear a name tag, sir. It says all municipal employees and contractors have to wear a name tag. Um, this other gentleman has not complied with that requirement. It's also written into the Securitas policies and procedures. Um, he has not complied with that. Um, and he didn't comply with just a simple, direct, you know, I introduced myself, said, hey, my name's Niall, what's your name? And he wouldn't provide. Um, 
you have to identify yourself, especially if you're um, attacking people while you're wearing a gun. I mean, he's wearing a pistol um, and attacking citizens exercising constitutionally protected rights. So I'd like his first and his last name. And I will be discussing that with my supervisor. All right, well, you have my, no you have my number on uh, dial here. I have yours as well. I hope to hear an answer back soon. Um, I was gonna let this go, but he continued to follow me around today. He followed me up to the clerk's office. He had no business up in the clerk's office other than to follow me. Then he followed me up to the eighth floor. Um, it, it's one thing if he wants to secure the building and do his general procedures and walk around. It's a completely other thing if he wants to put his hand in my back pocket and be my personal escort, which I need not. Um, that is what's called harassing and stalking. Especially when I tell people I don't want the contact. That's clearly written into Alaska statute. So um, I'd like the person's name. I think you're bound to give it to me. I mean, the longer you wait, um, the worse it looks. Sounds great. I appreciate that, Bruce. And I'm standing at the desk, but I'm going to leave now because um, I don't want these folks to have to stand here and look at my face anymore. Y'all have a nice day. All right, you too. All right, Bruce, I hope to hear back from you. Okay, so that was the purpose of the visit today. Thank you so much for your help. I'll be seeing you in about 24 to 48 hours to file it. All right, so that's City Hall for you. That's why we always, 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 always film at all times. We're gonna conclude transmission. Uh, let's see here. Time is 1,512 hours.